Hey there! If you are around the Linux world for some time, you may have already heard one of the following phrases. I use Arch by the way, or I use Arch Linux because of the AUR. But what if I tell you, you can take advantage of the AUR Arch Linux user repositories independent of the distribution you are currently running? Hi, I am Vortex Ekerontik and Arch users hate this trick. Distrobox. In the previous video I already explained to you how to set up OpenSUSE Aeon and Kappa for gaming. But we did not come across talking about MicroS Desktop's true superpower, Distrobox. As Distrobox is also available for most other Linux distributions, you can follow these instructions on the distribution you are currently using. In my example, it is just that Distrobox is installed on my distribution of choice by default. What we will learn is creating an Arch Linux based Distrobox container, install yay as an AUR helper inside it, and how to export binaries and applications to our host system. Create a new Distrobox container. Assuming you have already installed Distrobox as per your distribution's instructions, we create the new Distrobox container as follows. Distrobox create i arch linux name arch. This will download the latest container image of Arch Linux, set up a container using Podman and add a launcher to our app menu so we can easily access our new Distrobox. If you have an NVIDIA GPU using the closed source driver and want to have GPU acceleration with it, you can add the dash dash NVIDIA switch to the Distrobox create command as follows. Distrobox dash create dash i Arch Linux dash dash name Arch dash dash NVIDIA. What Distrobox will do is share your locally installed NVIDIA driver with your Distrobox container. This way, you do not need to go through the setup of installing the NVIDIA driver again inside the Distrobox. On an open source driver stack, this is not necessary as GPU acceleration will work out of the box already. If you also plan on installing software which requires systemd support, you can additionally add the dash dash init switch to the create command as follows. Distrobox dash create dash i arch linux dash dash name arch linux dash dash init. Of course you can use both of the dash dash nvidia and dash dash init switch at the same time. The name is optional and you can choose whatever you want here. If you plan on using a whole different Arch based distribution, you can alter the dash i parameter to match the name of the distribution or the download URL of the container image you want to use instead. For a full list of supported container distributions, I recommend looking up the official Distribox documentation. Also, by default Distribox will share your entire host home directory with any new container. If you want a custom home directory for your container, use the dash dash home switch like this. Distrobox dash create dash i arch linux dash dash name arch dash dash home path to the new home slash arch home. This will create and mount a directory arch home into your container and make it its home directory. But do not confuse this with sandboxing. A Distrobox container will still have access to your host file system including your real home directory. Using the AUR from a Distrobox container has multiple advantages. First, you do not alter your host system and there is no risk of damaging any system files. Second, you can use the AUR on any Linux distribution you like. And last but not least, you can keep files only required for software running inside the container away from your user home. Getting an AUR helper. Now that we have an Arch Linux based container distribution, we apparently need a way to interact with the AUR. This is done using so called AUR helpers on Arch Linux. The most common one is Yay. As Yay is not installed on Arch Linux by default and not available in the official Arch Linux repositories, we need to download, compile and install Yay manually. No worries, this is easy and the Arch Linux wiki has a lot of handy information about this. Installing Yay. In order to make use of Yay, we need to set up a couple of things first. Open up your Arch Linux distrobox terminal and perform the following steps. pacman dash uppercase s dash dash needed git base dash devil. This will install git and basic development files we will need to build yay from source. Then we will download the source files from yay using git. git clone https cologne slash slash aur.archlinux.org slash yay.git. Then go inside the yay source folder using cd yay. And then finally build and install it using make pkg dash si. Now that we have Yay available, we also can export it to our host system in order to use it from any shell we'd like as follows. Distrobox export b slash usr slash bin slash yay. If you open up a new terminal, you can use Yay right away without manually entering the Distrobox container. Using Yay. Using Yay is similar to use Pikmin, the default package manager on Arch Linux, as they both share the same syntax. 
running sudo yay dash uppercase s y u some package will sync the repository data, do a full system update and install the new package. But you do not need to add dash s y u as it is a default when using the command yay right away. Beware, a lot of packages on the AUR are distributed as source files. This means installing and updating something from the AUR may take a while depending on your computer's hardware, as most software will be compiled from source. But there are also binary packages available and if everything fails, there is also the chaotic AUR. For this video, we will only focusing on the regular AUR. After you install the desktop application from the Arch user repositories, you can easily export them using distrobox-export-a app name. In my example it is JFlap. A new launcher should show up in your app menu in no time. Exporting command line based application always requires you to specify the full path of set binary. Usually they are located at slash usr slash bin inside the distrobox container. Exporting a binary is similar to exporting a desktop application, but instead we use the dash b and the full path of the binary file instead, like we did with yay. Distrobox export b usr bin yay. This way you can take full advantage of Distrobox tight integration with the host system and run any apps inside a Distrobox container without actually noticing it. On an in-depth tutorial and how-to about Yay, the AUR or Distrobox, I recommend looking up the official documentation. All links and commands used can be found in the video description or in a dedicated comment by me, Robointox Guides. With all these bits and bytes in place, we are technically still running the AUR from Arch Linux but without the need to opt into the full Arch Linux experience, while still operating in a known environment. I apologize for the clickbait title, but I hope you found this video helpful and enjoy the AUR or your favorite Linux distribution. Have a great day!